What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because in yesterday's video I showed you guys the Kraken Control deck profile and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to play this deck. Now it's not going to be your typical combo video although I am going to show you what the deck can do and how it can combo. I'm actually going to be going through test hands with this deck to show you guys what the different boards can be. Keep in mind Kraken Control is a control based deck however this deck can still combo and do some crazy things. So if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we're uploading five days this week shark week is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday if you guys are seeing this video it should be thursday tomorrow is the last day of shark week but you guys have to be subscribed to see that so thank you guys all for watching i really appreciate the support throughout the entire week you guys have been amazing and the goal is to get to 10,000 and then 16,000 by the end of the year i know we can make it happen so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and with that let's get right into the combos test hands you know the, the, the deck all right, so instead of your typical combos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing test hands with this deck to show you guys what this deck can actually look like. The thing is with the combos, if you guys watch the first shark video or the first shark combo video, you can do very similar things to this deck as you did with the last deck. But I want to show you guys how the cragging control aspect can come in with this deck, right? And so for that reason, I'm going to be just doing test hands and be showing you guys what hands will actually look like. Here's the first hand that we have. You guys can see we didn't open Buzzsaw Shark, but we did open it's an extender. And as long as you can normal summon anything and you have an extender in your hand, you're in a good spot because even with a hand as i guess you could say bad as this one you can still end on a bahamut short plus toad but honestly i wouldn't even end on a toad because you have the goza match here so i would actually just go stealth uh Kragen over here and then we have set the goza match set the imperm and we're gonna set the call by the grave now i know this sounds like or it doesn't seem like the most crazy of hands but why this is really good is because all your opponent's monsters can become water you flip the goza match on your opponent's turn as soon as you flip the goza match and they commit a monster to the board they're stuck into waters stealth Kragen is going to get to pop a card in the field you have imprint for another form of negation and then every single turn let's say you know you go into end phase whatever standby phase your opponent's turn you're going to flip this you have this lock you have the imperm you have the call by the grave your opponent can't play they end their turn because you know they can't really do anything here you have a silent angler i mean it's not a great card to draw into but again now you're going to be doing some damage with the stealth crag in you already popped a card so you're going to be doing some burn damage in that sense and again it's a control based deck so keep that in mind i just wanted to show you guys like i guess even a hand a bad hand like this one where you you don't open Buzzsaw Shark, you don't open Beautiful Full Princess, you can still set up a lock and setting up this lock can be really, really powerful. And then keep in mind, if this card is destroyed, you can summon your Kragen Spawns, which eventually can summon this back and then you know how the whole shebang goes, right? So that's really cool. So this hand here is a little bit better. And let me show you guys why this hand is really good. It's because you do have cards like the Desires, but you also have access to your full combo because you have Beautiful Full Princess, you have a Silent Angler, you even have Lantern Shark. So let's start off by normal summoning our Beautiful Princess or Beautiful Full Princess, activating its effect to summon a Buzzsaw Shark, and then now you essentially have your full combo because Buster Shark is going to get to activate, target itself, and then you're going to go, I guess it doesn't really matter what you summon here. Summon a Lantern Shark is not really important, right? So we do this, then we can go into a rank four. Um, Let's go this first. Let's see if we draw a goes in match because if we draw a goes in match, we go into Stealth Kragen. Here we didn't draw a goes in match. Ooh, but we drew an extender. That could actually be really good. Okay, actually, because we drew an extender, what we're going to do here is we're going to go into, we can go double Bahamut Shark actually. So we'll go Bahamut Shark here and then and we'll go into our first toad all right so let's go into toad and then let's summon our nettle okay because nettle is going to be really good for us in the graveyard to shuffle back some cards we'll also summon our silent angler and then this is going to give us access we can go second toad here again depends on what your matchup is you can go second toad here honestly i would just go dweller because if we're going against a tier limit matchup this is just better because we're setting up toad plus a dweller which is insanely powerful so this is a really good board against a tier limit matchup potentially i think this was a pretty bad hand as well you have the dd crow also as well you have a lantern shark for your next turn which is really nice so you have at least some kind of follow-up and then yeah once you get get rid of the nettles. Um, then you can start shuffling cards back into your deck, which is nice. All right, so I really want to show you guys how powerful Ixie's Remora is. So this is a really good hand here actually to show you. I'm actually going to hold the Instant Fusion. I don't think it's that important. I'm going to show you guys a basic combo that you guys can do here. So let's go with Buzzsaw Shark, activate its effect, of course. We're going to summon our Lantern Shark here. And then what we're going to be able to do is we're going to go into our Bahamut Shark. So this is a really cool hand. This is why I think Ixie's Remora is just so powerful. There's so many things for you, right? So we're going to activate the Bahamut Shark. doesn't really matter what we get rid of. And then we're going 
going to be able to summon our toad here. Now that we have Bahamut Shark, we can actually just go ahead and summon our Vespa Knight over here, which is really nice. And then what we're going to do, so let's go Ixies Remora. We're going to detach two here, summon our Ixies Remora. And then this is going to get to activate to summon two fish back from our graveyard. So we're going to get to summon the Lantern Shark as well as the Buzzsaw Shark here. Their effects are going to be negated, but we're going to be able to still summon the Silent Angler here. Now keep in mind, we still have like more extenders. So even if your opponent had some form of negation, you have more extenders to keep going, right? But here what we can do honestly is we can go into a second Bahamut Shark and Toad. So here we can go Bahamut Shark, activate its effect, doesn't really matter what we get rid of. We summon a second Toad. And here, you know, imagine we had like Gozen match, you could go Stealth Kragen on top of that, which would be insane. We don't have Gozen match, of course. So honestly, I would just go Dweller because against a tier limit matchup, this would be really good. And we're setting an Imperm. Like this is our board. We're setting up one, two negates, three negates with Imperm, as well as a Dweller, which is going to completely shut out our opponent's graveyard. Hey guys, editing Spanko here. And I just want to say something quickly about this board. I keep talking about Dweller in this board because I'm focused on the tier limit matchup, which is probably the best deck in the format. But keep in mind, if you're playing against Sprite or Labyrinth or any of those other decks, this so actually would be better if it was a Stealth Kragen because Stealth Kragen will at least get you a pop which could be really good against a lot of those other decks, right? So Dweller is just really good because we're specifically focused on the tier limit matchup but if it's not the tier limit matchup, Stealth Kragen is really good here and you guys will hear throughout the video that I talk about Stealth Kragen is really good when you have Gozen match. Stealth Kragen is still really good even if you don't have the Gozen matchup. It just depends on the matchup that you're playing against, all right? So I just wanted to keep that in mind. But yeah, this exact board, one, two, three negates plus the Stealth Kragen which could be a disruption or the Dweller or any other rank four that you guys think is fitting for the matchup which is insane like that's insane i really want to like you can imagine if you drew that same hand this hand is the same combo by the way this hand is just bus shark plus extender a lot of these test hands you can see pretty much kind of just do the same thing like you guys can see lantern shark remora you have combo with an extender here you have pot of desires all right let's see if we draw into a goes and match it literally just comes down to that like depending on what you draw into so here we didn't draw a goes and match so there's no real reason to go into a stealth kragen right but you draw into a goes and match you want to go into stealth kragen that's kind of how this deck plays and i think that's why this deck is really unique because you can go into the toad plays the really aggressive plays or if you draw a goes in match let's, let's see if we can draw a goes in match again obviously you wouldn't do fit this first by the way you go bus slash arc to try and uh, get more cards out of your deck so you don't draw into them all right well you guys can kind of see the point of what i'm trying to say right like i don't want to show you guys the same combos over and over again i just want to show you guys that like depending on what your hand looks like you we keep drawing desires by the way but depending on what your hand looks like you're going to adjust your board accordingly right you draw a goes in match you're going to make oh we drew the goes in match and here we already have full call like here oh this is actually really nice because what you can do is you can summon your normal your lantern shark, you can activate its effect, you're gonna summon your silent angler. The really cool thing about this combo is you're not stuck with the Ixies Remora in hand because now what you can do is you can go, let's say, into your Bahamut Shark. Oh, this is actually a really good hand. Oh, nah, let me show you guys this hand. So we're gonna go Bahamut Shark here. We're gonna detach the Lantern Shark so that we can summon our Totally Awesome. And then because we weren't stuck with the angler effect, we can still summon from hand. So we can actually do this summon the Ixus Remora, then activate the Ixus Remora effect to summon these two back, which is really, really nice over here, actually. The second one doesn't really matter as much, but because we have the Gozen match, we can actually just do these two. Uh, what well, has the biggest defense? This has the biggest defense, yeah? So we'll go these two into our Stealth Kragen. You can set the Gozen match, set the Imperm. You have a DD Crow, which is really good against a tier limit matchup, so you didn't need to even go into something like Dweller here. But you have the Stealth Kragen, which is gonna make all your opponent's monsters water. You have the Imperm to negate anything. You have the Gozen match, which is gonna lock them into waters. And then this is also gonna get the pop a card they control. You have the totally awesome negate, you have DD Crow. And then if this card gets destroyed, you get to summon your spawns. You guys can kind of see where it's going, right? So anyways, that's what I really wanted to show you guys. I really wanted to show you guys a lot of the test hands, how they could look like. And again, a lot of these boards are really, really powerful into a lot of different matchups. Of course, if you guys saw the first combo video, a lot of the shark combos are gonna be the same no matter what. It just all depends on what you draw into. And again, if you draw into your goes and match, you really wanna prioritize the stealth Kragen because that becomes Becomes really really powerful right now depending on what your opponent is playing as well if your opponent is playing a deck that already loses to goes in match i'm just gonna say this now right if your opponent does play a deck that has a bunch of attributes and already loses then you don't need to go into stealth kragen you just go into any other rank four you can even go into a second toad because all your monsters are going to become water and then they're just going to be stuck under goes in match yes you'll lose your vespa knight here but it doesn't really matter this is going to make it so that your vespa knight is water as well so it becomes nice in that sense you can keep this but let's say you don't go into stealth kragen because your opponent's going to lose to this anyways it doesn't really matter that you lose this right that's not a big deal because your opponent's not going to be able to play so anyways i just wanted to let you guys know and show you guys what these combos look like let me know what you guys think of these combos again the test hands they're all over the place it all depends on what you're playing against you're going to make different boards what you guys see in your hand you guys are going to make different boards i think this deck is very unique
So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That was Kragen Control and what the deck is looking to do. Keep in mind, unlike the combo version, you're not trying to pop off putting up four or five negates. Yes, you can still put three to four negates up on a board depending on your hand. But when you sit on Kragen Control plus a Gozen match, that's just an FDK against so many different decks. And so that's why this deck is called Kragen Control. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. This week has been Shark Week, but keep in mind that we do more than just these Shark Deck profiles. We do the combo videos, we do the product openings, we do vlogs, we do so much different kinds of content on this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you with that. Spanko, sign and out. Peace.